Are you looking for a free URL shortener? Hello, today we will discover Schlink, a powerful URL shortener to help you manage and track your links effectively. It comes with many options to create short URLs, but Schlink is more than just a URL shortener. It provides advanced analytics and tracking capabilities. By understanding which channels drive the most traffic, you can make data-driven decisions to improve your marketing strategy. It also comes with a CLI and API to allow you to automate and integrate it to your workflows. Before starting the platform overview, let's set up our instance. To set up your instance of Schlink, go to LSTO, hit Login, then deploy my first service if you don't have one yet. Search for Schlink. Hit select, select your cloud provider. I will choose Scaleway. Then choose your region, choose the different service plan you need with the power you need and hit next. You have access to different level of support. I will take the included one and hit create service. I received the email telling me that my instance can now be used. Click here to get the password. You arrive on LSTO on your instance dashboard Copy the password to your clipboard here and click on admin UI, it, the link to your instance. The username here is root, paste the password from my clipboard. I don't save and I arrive on my Schlink instance. As it's made to be available on multiple server, but we only have one, just click on main server. We land on the dashboard. We have access to analytics here, but for the moment we have nothing. Maybe we can start creating a short URL but jump to advanced option. It's the same link than here on the left to see all options we have to create short links. The URL to be shortened, let's use Google just to have a link. Then you have tags and tags is for you. It's for your Schlink and your analytics. For example, it can be a link you use only on Instagram. So you add the Instagram tag. Then you can customize the title but the title also is only for you, Instagram, uh, Google link. And then you have the choice between a custom slug or a short code length, what it is. So if you use custom slug, let's say Google, you won't be able to choose the length because you decided what the short URL will look like. Or you can let Schling decide for you with a random code generated, but you say, how big it will be. So let's say it will be six characters. Okay. Then you choose a domain because by default it's connected to LSTO. We have that long domain, but I recommend you to connect your own domain and have a C name targeting this instance. So it's easy to configure. Something really powerful available is here. You can decide on Android, iOS or desktop where it will redirect your users. The main use case I see with this is when you have a mobile app, you want a link for your uh, Play Store, App Store, or a website with a page presenting the mobile apps. You can also add some restrictions here, the number of visits allowed. Maybe you have a special offer only for the 100 first person that will access the link. You set 100 or you can say when it starts, so you can uh, schedule it before it's available and enable until. So you, you have peace of mind. You say at that date, it won't be any more available. And you set the end date. You can also make it crawlable on Google. So it's your Schlink instance link that will be indexed. And you can also decide if you want to forward query params on redirect or not. What it means is if someone add uh, extra parameters or modify them, are you okay with this? or it might impact you and you don't want, you want to keep your URL. So you check or not this option. Hit save. And now I have this URL shortened available. Let's try to open it. I open it and I'm redirected to Google. Now let's try to go to overview. And now we have one visit. Orphan visit, it was already here. We have one short URL in total. And same for the tag that we created, the Instagram tag. And here, because we defined a 100 limit uh, visits, we have the counter here telling us one has been made and it remains only 99. 
We saw using the web app how to create manually uh, short links, but you can create them using the API and still have access to analytics and stuff. They provide a CLI. I will show you in a moment how to use it with LSTO. You have uh, an op all options to create an app API key uh, and to generate short URLs. And then you have the REST API option. So once you have your API key that we will generate together, you can build from your backend short URLs working while adding automation. So let's go back to command line and let's look how to use it. They say you have to go to bin slash CLI and add the comments. Go to your instance of Schlink on LSTO, go to tools, and you can access an SSH terminal to your server. Here, copy the password and click on the link. The username is root and the password is in your clipboard. Hit sign in and you have a terminal to your server, but your instance of Schlink is dockerized. Type docker ps and it will list all your docker. The correct container should be this one. So copy the container ID and run docker exec dash it paste the container ID and hit sh. Then you have a dynamic prompt connected to your instance of Schlink. Now we should have, if we do ls, we can see that we are at the correct path. We can do bin CLI. We have the list of commands, it's the help. Let's try it. We can do bin CLI API key generate. And now we have an API key generated we can use to create dynamically uh, Schling short URLs. I will put you the link in the description for all the API call you can make once you have your API key. Let's get back to our web app. If we go to our first link we created, we can do visit stats and have all the information here. So we, you have by time, but we only have one, so it's not very visual. You have by context, so you can see what device was used, what browser was used and the referrer. You also have by location, but for a weird reason, it doesn't know where I'm from. And you have the list of people. Maybe my IP blocks the way they can find my uh, country and city. If you go back to the list, you have another nice one feature. If you go to the dots, you can hit QR code and you have a simple QR code that you can embed wherever you need. You can download it as a PNG or SVG and hit download. From the list, you can also edit it or delete the short link. On the list of the tags, you also have statistics. So if you use them, you can have more data to take decisions on your marketing campaigns. And if we look at the settings, it's quite simple. You can use Docs theme on the user interface. You can define the default settings for uh, URL shortening. And same for the tag and visits. It's, it's not key uh, settings, it's just the way you want to experience things on Shlink. Thank you for watching, we hope you liked this video. If it's the case, please hit the like button as it really helps the channel be more visible to other open source lovers. If you want to continue discovering other great free tools, jump to the next video by clicking here.